So, maintaining a dog in show coat requires a great deal of effort. We're working on a dog to make sure that he's all pretty before he goes home to his owners tomorrow. But you'd be surprised at how many groomer videos or groomer, you know, um, vloggers and TikTok personalities that I see when they basically are using tools on a table and then they don't turn the tools down. They have them like this. What can happen? You see the proximity to the dog's foot? You see him just move? When you're grooming a dog with sharp tools or tools that could be potentially damaging to soft, tender things like toe pads and foot pads, you turn the tool over or you have a side table that you put the tool on. That way nobody gets hurt and the owner of the show dog you're taking care of doesn't sue you for damaging their precious show dog. All right? Now you can step backwards. Look at the dog. This is a Briard. He's just under a year and a half old. He's being maintained in show coat. Actually, the owner's trying to grow coat, so it's not show coat as much as it is grow coat. He had a bath and a detangling rinse, and now we're working through the coat in such a way that we can make sure that he stays matte free or de matte. He's starting to part, that puppy coat is starting to come out. Um, and then, of course, it's been inordinately warm here, Stan. Stay. Cool thing I like about show dogs is they have scents. You don't have to worry too much about them not being appropriate on the table because this is experience this dog has received since he was probably about five weeks old. And as a result, he's easy to manage in the tub. He's easy, easy to manage on the table. He's easy to manage anywhere that requires physical care or physical attention. He can be handled by strangers. He can be groomed by strangers. I know, buddy. You got a little, you got a little of a bit of stuff in your dingle area there, big guy. Pretty much that. Next, we're going to be doing toenail.